day has arrived when ISRO is going to launch uh, India's very ambitious project Aditya L1. And this is a space-based solar observatory and Indian astronomers have worked quite a lot for several years, more than a decade, to achieve this uh, goal. And that day is today when uh, this uh, satellite will be launched into space. And it's eventually going to be placed at a point called Lagrange 1, that is L1. And this is a point which is about one and a half million kilometers from this earth center in the direction of the sun on the sun earth axis this point is where the gravitational field uh, of the earth and the sun are equalizing in a sense that uh, there is no uh, force felt and it's just uh, equalized force so let's hope in the next four months when at the l1 uh, as the satellite is placed it's going to face the sun all the time 24 by 7 and uh, all through the year. So Indian astronomers are going to benefit from it because it's a high technology uh, instrumentation that has gone in and it's very up-to-date electronics. So we are also aiming at uh, regions to observe from this point, regions very close to the sun's surface and the solar corona is the, uh, the main uh, sort of ob object of our interest. Sir, is there any difficulty or challenging situation, sir, today? I don't see at the moment because uh, PSLV rocket is a trusted workhorse of ISRO and uh, it's going to be first placed in the earthbound orbit then there will be several earth uh, orbit raisings after which it will be placed in a cruise orbit and then eventually it has to land at uh, L1 where uh, ISRO is going to do quite a lot of uh, maneuver in such a way that it follows, it, it enters uh, that point and, and adopts a, a halo orbit and uh, around that point and it will it is going to face all the time it's uh, the solar panels are going to face the sun all the time so that energy is available and instruments can work so i want to ask one more time so why l1 why particular l1 point one thing is that near the earth uh, we have uh, many more uh, difficulties and uh, continuous monitoring of the sun is very essential because l1 moves around the sun as the earth moves around the sun it's a, the same angular velocity and there, therefore all the time the sun is available and there are no eclipses caused by the moon uh, and obviously that point also is of interest because we are virtually outside the magnetosphere of the earth so we can understand uh, certain the, the intricacies of interplanetary medium